We're here at a beautiful sod farm, and this is the home to Riverview Sod Ranch, and Mr. Charles Benny is owner and operator. And Charles, thanks for having us here today. It's great to have you here. So we've got some uh, great grasses that we've looked at today, and we want to talk about a little bit, and, and a great operation that you have here. Family-owned business, family-operated. Can you just tell us a little bit about what you have going on here? Started in 1975. I was a home builder. Thought I'd... Uh, couldn't buy any good sod, so I thought I'd do it on the weekends, just a little side job. 80 hours a week later, I'm <laughs> out here seven days a week, just a, a hooked on it, loving these grasses from OSU. So, so great grasses. We've got, you know, I showed you our experimental plots, all from OSU. They're all OSU grasses. It's distinctly from Dr. Wood's research and your research, and uh, a lot of promise for the future. Great things coming. So tell us a little bit about the, uh, the cultivars that you have right now. I see you've got some, uh, a nice shirt and a nice hat here. What are, you, what are you growing out here? We're growing Latitude and Northbridge, the two that they have released. And they're beautiful grasses. They're on the o OU football field. Great for the uh, OU OSU game. That's right. And uh, we're going to get ready to put it on the OSU, I mean OU, excuse me, new practice field next mm -hmm. week the Latitude 36, mm -hmm. and uh, it's in the Texas Rangers baseball stadium, and uh, SC Dallas, the soccer field down there, they all love it. They all just love Latitude. So a lot of sports fields, a lot of golf courses, and, and things like that. What about the average consumer? Would they like these grasses? They would, they would appreciate that they would get quality. That's what OSU has produced. These are good grasses. They're ready to go. You can say you might spend a little more money buying a certified grass on the front end, mm -hmm. but you're not going to contaminate. You're not going to buy a lot of fertilizer. You're not going to be mowing it near as much to get to this type of quality of grass that OSU's come up with. The breeding is incredible. It's the it's the grasses of the future. So what about uh, on the horizon? You mentioned there's some experimental plots out here. Uh, what what do you do exactly? We, in conjunction with Dr. Wu, have put out plots for them specifically to watch and check out and from a sod producer's standpoint of what the production's like and how they produce as a grass against just the regular Bermudas that we have in production. And we get to watch them and Dr. Wu and you will come in over and see them and just enjoy watching them come about. So what, uh, of course, Latitude 36, Northbridge, you've got some great grasses and you've got some older grasses like Astro that are great and very popular. Why would you want a new one? What's, uh, what are you looking for here? Uh, looking for uh, green up, uh, cold tolerance. We're in a zone here where you can lose grasses in the winter to winter kill. When we get a lot of snow and stuff like that and it stands on the ground, we're looking to get just a better, tighter turf quality grass for the homeowner and for the sports field. You can mow this grass at an inch and a half. You can mow it at a quarter inch. You can mow it any way you want. It can make it into what you want it to be. And that's what's fun about them. The older grasses, you can't do that. So take us through a little bit. Uh, we saw your sons out here working hard and you've got several employees out here. So how do you cut it? Do you, uh, do you just have individual machines out here? You got, you got Ben doing that? How does that work exactly? Well, you just saw my son and his <laughs> new toy over there. That looked pretty and, neat. Yeah. yeah. That's the newest generation of sod production in the United States. That's like the number 39 serial number. <laughs> it's coming. And, and then we do cut what you call the big rolls yeah. for the commercial jobs. But the pallet grass is what the consumer wants. And, and the little small yards, like we have a lot of yards nowadays that are three or 4,000 square feet where you used to have quarter acre yards. The, the, the yards are getting smaller. So we cut a lot of pallet grass for that. So if a homeowner wants to buy a pallet of your sod, what are they getting? How many square feet are they getting? How big are those pieces? Yeah, the pieces are 10 square feet. Uh, we usually put 500 square feet on a pallet. They can come out and pick it up, or we deliver it to, to them any amount they want. And they can order the ladder. They can go on the website for sod solutions and mm -hmm. look at all your products. And it explains and gives a cold tolerance. These grasses that you've got are much more cold tolerant. Mm -hmm. And that's a great product besides the fact that they're drought tolerant. Right. They're really good for the consumer. So they can uh, get this 500 square foot of pallet 
and and you no longer have to go out there and stack it yourself, do you? No. Now, what no. do you prefer? Would you rather be out stacking it, or would you rather drive that machine? Yeah, that's the no-brainer. <laughs> <laughs> and the kids are loving it, sitting yeah. in the air conditioning. No that's sweat. Right. You can't beat that. <laughs> no, but it, it they're fun. It's fun. It's fun to take it to the consumer and have the consumer see what a beautiful instant product they're getting and versus seed and mm -hmm. all these things you see on TV where they spray the seed and the mulch and they fill the patches in and stuff like right. that. We've got grass right now, ready to go. And it's a, some of it will be up to a year old. It's really healthy. Mm -hmm. doesn't need anything except a little love and attention. That's right. Dr. Wu and Dr. Martin and yourself, OSU has been a leader in the nation in this new turf grass varieties, which is so great for the country. It's what we need in this southern part of the United States is new good Bermudas. And we got them. You got them. <laughs> it's OSU. Here we go. And that's what's great about it is is uh, we want to do things that are good for our state, good for the growers of our state. Oh, sure. And good for ultimately the homeowners in our state that they can use and oh, use yeah. less water, use less fertilizers and, and be more cold tolerant and all the things you yeah, mentioned. You're, you're a servant of the, of the land. You're taking care of the land. You're helping it out. You're not wasting your water by having to overwater it when it's new and you get some crummy sod. This stuff's ready. Ready to go. OSU is doing great things in the turf industry. You guys have got to be proud. So here we are by the Arkansas River here, here in Leonard, Oklahoma. Yeah, right, big right, time right, Leonard. Right near Bixby. <laughs> and there's lots of great sod growers in the state, lots of your friends around here doing the oh, same sure. thing as you. And, sure, we're not, and, uh, we're not the only ones out here. Everybody in the, we have an Oklahoma Sod Producers Association, mm -hmm. which Dr. Martin works tightly with the Oklahoma Turfgrass Research Foundation. We support OSU and all the sod farmers Everybody's in it because they like it. They're all old farmers, <laughs> just like me, just well, loving it. Hey, you can't beat it. And you told me earlier, you don't take vacation because this is your vacation, yeah, You right? betcha. You love it you out You betcha. Here. <laughs> uh, I don't need to go anywhere. Why well, go anywhere and fight the crowds? That's right. I got peace and quiet and everything else going <laughs> right, right here in the Arkansas River. <laughs> well, we appreciate it, Charles. Thanks for having us out hey, today. Hey, I'm glad you came. All right, thank you. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.